That's right. That's right. You guessed it. Back at the honey hole. We're going to go down and see what we can find. Jazzy Jeff got his uh, new 900 sitting there. He goes, Mike, can you tell what this is? I said, yeah, sure I can. He went to a cellar hole across the street from the place where we, where we were a couple years ago. I found a flying eagle. He just found himself a Connecticut State Copper. And he goes, hey, then I was over in Middletown like a day or two later. And he pulls up this beautiful heart heel plate. Looks like it got hit by the plow. But man, what a beautiful relic saved. Connecticut State Copper and a heart heel plate with his Mine Lab Equinox 900 already. That's one happy camper. Let's see them jazzy feet. Woohoo! Right, shake a leg. All right, let's see if we can break a leg and go find something cool. Last time I was here, I found a, I think it was a Silver War Eagle button. Let's go see what else I can find. See you in a bit. Of course, you can't forget this heavy duty rings guide he found too. So it blew his ears off. All right, let's get cruising. Sorry folks, I'm here with Jazzy Jeff over there. We're down in my honey hole field where I found so much stuff. Over 10,000 coins, all kinds of stuff. And now I just got a good signal, just found a key. Here's down about four inches. Got a dime, a couple pennies, a couple pull tabs, and a couple pieces of can slaw so far. Still getting signals with my Knox 800 with a cinch coil. He's got the new, uh, the bigger coil on the uh, 900 over there. He found a cool uh, heart heel plate and a uh, Connecticut State Copper with it so far. He just got it a couple weeks ago. That guy's awesome. Make sure you check him out, Jazzy Jeff. All right, we'll see you soon. Actually, he doesn't have a channel, so sorry. Down in the same hole there, got another strong signal. Jazzy Jeff's still digging something over there. I dug it up, and it appears to be a couple of kitty cats. It's like a heavy-duty keychain with some fancy around it. It's heavy brass. So let me foo this off, and I'll get right back to you. Right, yeah, definitely a couple of kitty cats with some fancy around the heavy brass rim. That was the keychain part of it. And with the one key. All right, on to the next. Not sure what the Jeff Meister is digging now. Let's go find out. It's got a slamming 30 on my Knox 800. Looks like it's a steak quarter. All right, buddy, let's keep moving. Ooh, nice out today. Airplane. Why does it feel like somebody's watching me? All right, just getting ready to move from that number 30 hole. We got a 30 right next to it. Just popped another quarter. Like a two quarter spill right here, right on top of the ground. Sweet! Way over there by that telephone pole is where I found that eagle button last time I was here. It's got a nice signal and just pulled up a little D buckle. How cool is that? It's got some age to it. Jazzy Jeff said, hey, I got something too, something with age. I said, yeah, let me see it. Bring it on over, brother. <clears throat> Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's got some shankage. Very nice, a little cuff or collar button. Yeah. Anything on it or? I can't, it almost looks like there's a little waffle pattern on it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, get know. my glasses on. We're finding some targets, on to the next. Alrighty, righty, righty. Thank you all you wonderful people for tuning in to my uh, live video premiere tonight. I do appreciate it, you guys are awesome. This is just a quick wrap up for me and Jazzy Jeff. Of course, we got a lot of the can slaw here. I did manage a couple of pencil tops and uh, Pull ring, cleat, square tab, and these, I'll tell you what, these half a square tabs ring up like nickels. I was digging for them. Got one of the ace bandage uh, things there, beaver tail curled up, one old D buckle. I did get a key, a key chain, and a key ring. It's got a couple of putty cats on it. 
Got a kitty cat laying down there and one standing up with a bow on its neck. And I think that was part of the uh, keychain ring here. And that key there, somebody's house key, they lost it. I did find uh, four quarters though, uh, five or six one cents on one dime and two nickels. So I did find one of everything, so that was kind of nice. A lot of can slaw, but it just felt good to get out. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check me out tomorrow night, Saturday. I'll be live at 7.30 p.m. Doing some coin roll hunting a half dollars. It's a dollar a roll. If I find any silver, plated, painted, proofs, foreign, funky, counter stamped, anything out of the ordinary, I'll send it to you. Except for NIFCs, I keep those. Everything else goes back to the bank for another box the next week. Interested, stop by and check it out. It's a lot of fun. We'll see you then. Do 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 do